Tired of the extras. What's going on? My fucking flea in the building. What's going on? It's we V Live, man. All the extra bullshit out the way. <laughs> hey, y'all, fella. Man, how's everything with you, broski? Good. I can't complain, Jay. Finally got you to come down to the favelas. <laughs> Uh, get you in the stoop. You catch you where you catch you, man. That's yeah, you know, you stay on the move. I always got man, you. Man, got you on the session. I was skeptical, man, because you, you know, you used to call it the session, but you, you don't even partake of the herb, man. <laughs> I know, right? What's, <laughs> what's going How'd that come about? Was it so just, the session, it revolves around smoking weed and just chill it. That's what it is, or it's just like a, just a it's session. It's whatever you want it to be, like but you know, session, it's just a session, man. I mean, you know, you know how a smoke session is. Right. Bullshit. So that's what, that's what this has that's all this came is. about. That's how it all came <laughs> about. I was sitting in the session. Yeah, look. Had one of them high uh, uh, light bulb moments. It was like, yo, fucking name it the session. You know, so yeah. Look, I just had me some drinks, so I'm straight. You get you a little drink and you we good. good. We so good. Was that there. something that just always like, either you just never wanted to touch the bud, or is it just something that you smoke? You know, you just didn't like to. See, my OG it. and my daddy, they always been drinkers. My mama was smoking now, yeah. but she ain't really a smoker. My mm. daddy though, straight drinking. That's all I do is drink. You'll probably catch me on a special occasion. I have to smoke like. My best friend named Marsh got a little event coming up. Okay. Told her like shit, fuck it on your event, I actually blow. Oh, you a blow shit. something? Yeah, I told her I get yeah. that first for for they ass. Uh huh. But they gotta eat seafood and they allergic to it, so shit. Mm. I get free seafood in the end. You feel me? I feel you. What you drink? What's your drink? <laughs> shit, if I'm drinking dark, I'm gonna drink Douce, Hennessy, mm. Remy. I fuck with the Douce. Like that's double that's, crossing it. That's just what it is. Like, and then if I do light. Probably get like some motherfucker. I drink some Bombay and simply lemonade, but I'm not drinking no Bombay straight. No that, Bombay straight. That fuck shit all that. Over with. You hear me? You gotta I, mix it right. I drink some motherfucker. Uh, some vodka. Uh huh. Basically Ciroc. I don't yeah. fuck with tequila like that, but some you know Don the tequila Julio. Boy. So you like yeah. the, the Don Julio? Yeah, do Don you good? Julio. That shit's too smooth. I was fucked like last yeah. time I drank some Don Julio. I was fucked up in Wrigleyville. Mm. That's when I was. Sleep on a train and shit like that. You know, but for somebody that don't smoke or, you know, do too many of the, uh, of the drugs, you a pretty creative guy. Yeah, I, like I always. Very creative guy. I always. And like, you just can't lose your imagination. Yeah. It's always. I always but you know, they try to, you know, they say the drug sometimes enhances some people's creativity. You know, you hear a lot of. A lot of people saying that they gotta be, you know, they, a lot of people do acid to keep to enhance their creativity. I don't, mm-hmm. I'm not an acid partaker, but right. you know, just different things people, you know, use to enhance. But you're naturally like creative yeah. guy, you know what I'm saying? Um, but look, describe to the people at home that are listening <laughs> the massive drip you just walked into the set with Man. right now. Let the people know what you got on on, on your body, head to toe. Oh uh, shit. Came with deconstruction. That's my homie Jawan shit. My Shout out Jawan. Palm Angel sweats. Palm Angel. Same mm. outfits, you know, windbreaker, Chicago okay. shit. Shout out. Right. Motherfucker Bass Pro hat. Shit, I'm just cool. Shit. You cozy. What's on the yeah, feet? Little, little vapes on the feet, man. Ain't shit. Hey. My flea. Purple. My flea came came through. Got to, man. You, your name describes you perfectly, man, because, you know, for as long as I can remember, we go way back. But you, you've been a fly guy. Yeah, always. Got, you got to, like. This is nothing you just, you know, sh- just shaking and jiving. Yeah, facts. Like, like I always been fly. Like, you I know. always love clothes. Like, just being being fly. Mm-hmm. Which whole another element. Like, you, next minute you was down, so you put a couple clothes on, mm-hmm. get a haircut. Motherfucker can't touch you. Then what? You just on your so shit. So it's a then. feeling for you. It's like a vibe for you. Fashion very, and things like that is like very, a vibe for you. Yeah, I think this shit like probably like a like a religion down there. Yeah, <laughs> that's like a religion. Mm. Like just stand flies, just keep you happy. Like so, I see. I see you got a lot of different brands on. You got the Palm Angels. You got mm-hmm. the Deconstruction. What's some of the brands that you're looking forward to um, in terms of dropping some 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 real heat uh, lately? Or what are you what are you looking at that that's 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 coming out that you really wanna you know, go ahead and grab. Uh, no, I, I do like I like Saint Alfred shit. Okay, but I'm waiting on my boy Jawan to drop his shirt. Okay, with deconstruction and shit like that. But I think his might be called an outcast, like okay. outcast this, mm-hmm. this time coming around. I saw something like that. Um, 
on the gram a little while ago. Uh, just uh, just getting dropped, I think. Mm-hmm. So that should be pretty cool. So you're looking for the an outcast? Uh, yeah, like I'm fashion gonna, line. I want to fuck with a, like a lot of Chicago brands. You trying to you trying to support locally a little more? It all depends though, cause some people just be slapping shit on there and then right. just trying to sell it and shit like that. And I don't really be for that. like. Yeah. I had a little moment ago where I just went off on like a lot of Chicago brands and shit for just you know just not being creative. Well, you definitely represent uh, Chicago today. And much love to the Chicago artists, um, and you know Chicago's produced probably some of the top uh, streetwear designers in the game. Of yeah. being, the Kanye's, Virgil's, the Doncies, obviously that trio. Mm-hmm. Um, but even just on the lower scale, on the come up right now, you mentioned Jawan um, doing his thing. Uh, on the fashion level and, and there's a lot of creatives coming out of Chicago mm-hmm. we really need a lot more people in Chicago I feel like to to step forward and, and show the creative juices this is a really creative city yeah you know so have you had a chance to see that uh new exhibit yeah with, I was just uh, let me see I was just that one no Tuesday mm. I was just that Tuesday so you got a chance to see that yeah how was that? Tell me about that experience. So Louis Vuitton still pop up was fucking amazing. Like for him to just make that whole uh, strip just whole like a like a neon yellow mm-hmm. with neon. Like a lot of people don't know it's a bright it's a bright but it's a dark tint to it, mm. and it makes it everything pop. Like that shit was just raw as fuck. And then I go on the inside. They got the statues and shit of the, like the figures and all that. Yeah, that shit nice as fuck. It was nice. Nice as like. What was your? Uh, your favorite part of the experience? It'll probably be that that wall because it's like as you going down it's on like Randolph Street. It's a lot of it's a lot of little different places and shit like that. But it's just like this, this was some of the things that were in there. Yes, yeah, like a lot of things in there too. But it was that wall that was on the outside. Okay, it's just like a, a big bright ass orange orange wall. Orange wall. Shit Let's see nice if we can shit. find that. Yeah, definitely pull that shit up. But then you just got like the Louis Vuitton mm-hmm. logo on it. It's just something simple, but it popped. It popped. That's the thing. You want to so, what, what was your biggest takeaway um, from the exhibit? What did you take away? Like, what did, when you left, what did you go home with feeling? What did you go home with thinking? Shit, I gotta make some shit happen. Cause I wanna, I wanna get some free shit from them. Yeah. Like it's my mm-hmm. time to just go ahead and start fucking around. You know, actually just going out there grabbing that shit. Grabbing it. Yeah. Like, I'm well, you're always you're a pretty exclusive guy. You've always been in some of the most exclusive places. Oh, this is the wall you that's were talking the wall about. Right there. That shit's so dope. You feel me? Wow. Raw as fuck. And it was downtown. It's like on Randolph. Okay. So wow. That shit nice to see. And all of this uh was uh had Virgil's hands in on some yeah. part of it? Yeah, all of it. All of it. Cause you know he Virgil's a pretty inspiring guy and he's so fucking positive. He bring a lot of shine to Chicago though. Doesn't he? That a lot of people you know, some people don't really accept him because he ain't from technically from Technically Chicago. it was like Rockford, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, like Rockford and shit like that. But when he do some shit, motherfuckers wanna claim him then. Well, we gonna claim him because, you know, he's putting on a lot for the city. Yeah, he put like, You know, and you know, Rockford being a neighboring city is it's you know, it's a it's a branch off. Shit, he did obviously. did a lot of shit for Chicago that, that Kanye ain't do shit. Yeah. In terms of like fashion and shit like that. Yeah. He brought a lot of light to this motherfucker. So was style something like you were taught you know, uh, growing up, or was this something that you just kind of naturally had to, you know, always, knack and like, ability for? I always had style. It was because of my cousin Roy. Mm-hmm. Growing up, he just always. So you want to give you attribute that to mostly your cousin, just yeah, showing you like, the way a little bit. Yeah, fifty fifty. Because it came soon with him, like just showing me like this and that, like woo woo. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. And so I just stopped with my shit and my flavor, and you know, and it came out to be me. Yeah. It's all about something. With me, it's all about being simple, but it's just something that pop too. Like what you got on and make the fit pop. Right. Like it could be simple from jeans, my fucking white shirt, blah blah blah. Uh huh. Your shoes. Or so you're you, you're more simple um, yeah, when way. it comes to how you want to dress and how you want to dress your things. Yeah, I'm way simple to how I want to dress and shit like that. I got to, brother. Cause it's no problem. Like I'm way simple for shit. So to to a shopper, someone trying to. You know, somebody out here that's like, man, hey, I want to get my wardrobe together. This the summer to do it. Twenty nineteen, right. I'm stepping out. <laughs> Fuck it. You know, what's some what's Lamont, uh, Mont Flea's three uh, biggest tips he could give to a shopper who's trying to who's trying to get their drip together. First, I would tell you like shit. It's never about the brand name. It's all about something you like. 
Okay. If, it, if something is popping to your eye, you grab it, no matter what the people think about it. It's all about you. Second off, I would say, uh, go thrifting. Thrifting. Yeah, you go mm. thrifting. Because with thrifting, so it's not all about the the high cost and the and the expensive uh, gear that's out. No, it's not. It's all about what you can find, putting together things. You get a thrill out of finding something. Out of finding something, a yeah. gem. You you feel yeah, like, like diamond in the rough. Very like you find that shit there, whoop, and you get some old shit. Yeah. You get a thrill out of finding that. Like you get these pieces together, you like, oh shit, I could put this with this in my in my closet right now. So right. once you add it, so like, so how do you how how do you go through the process of putting a great outfit together? So like, is it just something like, man, it's just how I'm feeling today. I wake up feeling in this mood. I'm gonna wear this, or is it something like you you think about, you dissect, you you analyze before you put it on? There's some things in there before you go thrifting. You have a mindset of like, oh, I just want this. Right. But once you keep going through it and you just going in the keep navigating the like that, yeah, you find more pieces to get more like stuff. with the wardrobe and shit like that. Yeah. So it was just like you coming in there with one idea, but you just leave out with like thirty ideas. That's thirty different. That's yeah. the thing with like thrifting. It's like a, it's like the adult Legos, damn no. Okay. If you're creative, you go thrifting. You yeah. find a lot of shit in there. You can either tailor the shit. Or you can just the way it had it. You can design it to your liking. Thrifting, that's something I in it that I would uh, I definitely wouldn't have expected to hear from someone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you check out your Instagram. I, I mean, you got it, my brother. So, <laughs> but that's definitely an interesting tip. So you you go thrifting. I go thrifting. And, and what else would you do? Uh, if I go thrifting, then I go to a lot of boutiques. I'm not like. A mainstream shopper like you will never catch me on fucking Zara, right? Forever Twenty One, or fucking uh, what's the other one? H something. H and M. Yeah, you'll never catch me in that type of shit. Like you'll catch me at some type of unique ass store. Someone's nice shop. Yeah, you'll probably catch me on Barney's here and there, shit like that. Okay. But I really love pants. Like yeah. I spent some bread on some pants and some shoes. Right. I can always find the shirt. You can always get the shirt. I can always get. So the shirt. you think it's probably if you go if you so to a shopper you're gonna let them know probably if they're gonna go expensive, probably go expensive on the shoes and, and the pants. and the pants yeah, rather than just the top. Rather than the top, yeah, because you can always find a shirt. You can find a shirt any fucking well, but it's pants. You cannot find a lot of good pants. That's good, facts. Good wearing, especially pants. for males. Facts. You hear me? For males, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so it's, hard it's, to find pants. It's like an eternity finding a great it's, pair of nice looking fucking jeans that just hit with everything. That hit with everything. It's yeah, just, it's it's really rare. So That's actually a struggle for men if people don't know. I mean, I don't know how many people at home struggle with that, but I, I know if you definitely care about how you look. Um, Definitely find You know, it's definitely pants. hard to sometimes find uh, the right pants for the right drip. Yeah, what are, who are some of the, you know, people who had a heavy influence on your style, you know, coming up and, and maybe even today? Uh, that's tough. I want to say Kanye. Kanye, Kanye had a good influence on Oh, yeah. Me. I mean, he's from, you know, we from the same that, land. That, but he also started a lot of trends as well. Kanye. Uh, I've attributed to that as well. Kanye definitely brought a, a lot to the lot. game, you know, Kanye, a lot. My fucking uh, Nigo and for real, that, mm-hmm. that duo was just ridiculous. Like them two put on for just like a lot. A lot, yeah. In general, they um, changed the whole game. Yeah, man, the whole ice cream, the like, bringing out the BBC, the me? bright colors, <laughs> like babe. the neons, the um, babe. Oh, they exposed so much to the fashion yeah, world that so we was much. just oblivious to. But once we saw them <laughs> with it, we was just like. Yo, that's the way. I mean, they, I remember there was a time, and you know, I literally noticed that Pharrell was like the only rapper producer wearing a tight shirt. Mm-hmm. Like his shirt fit, like you know, like how my my shirt's fitting now. And everybody else had the, you know, the Baggy over the ass, three bro. eggs, <laughs> <laughs> dumbass lean with a rock with a t shirts. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Swaying in the wind <laughs> and shit. You know, and Pharrell was dripped down. So that's no, definitely man. a heavy. If that's a heavy influence, that's definitely a good influence that's that you had because he was probably ahead of the game. Even still, 10, 15 years out on us. Yeah, yeah, he still, still got that. You still see him in modeling shows, yeah. fashion shows, all and the shit. motherfucker never ages. Yeah, he don't age, which is fucking all. crazy. At all. <sighs> Now he's starting. Crazy. He's starting to get a little age now, since he probably hit like his fifties and shit like that. But yeah, he get a long. He getting time. a little. I mean, yeah, that, but you can't. You can't really help that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
you know, if you had to have a uh, favorite pair, you're a fashion guy, so I know you rock some Jordans. And I'm obviously from Chicago. We got Mike in the background. What's your favorite pair of Air Jordans? Um, one that you could just, like, you, if you had to wear a pair of Mikes for a year straight, what, what would that pair be? As you're talking about, like, colorway or just that, just that number one? I want the one that, the colorway, the specific Jordan the, that dropped, the specific colorway. And okay, it, it'll be royal blue ones. Royal blue ones? Royal blue why, blue. why that specific? I wanted to go Brits, uh-huh. but red, red is just, it don't pop like how that royal blue pop. Okay. Because royal blue ones can damn near go anything. Blue is damn near a, like a, a neutral color in a sense. Okay. You can rock blue with anything. You can rock blue with damn near green, black, yellow, anything. Like, royal blue ones pop. That's like my favorite joint to go to. The royal blue ones, these are here? Yes, sir. Black and red. I mean, black and blue. blue. That's they go. Yeah, black and blue. These right now, when it kind of like new new releases and shit, I don't buy new new releases. I buy retros or old ones because the material wise. The material. Yeah. They're coming out with a lot of trash materials now, right? Yeah, it's just like they. It's it's a lot of quantity over quality nowadays. Yeah. So it's just and like, you're then you you're one to go for the quality on things. Yeah, I love. Quality. So you'd rather that? So that's probably why you're attributing to to uh, thrifting so hard. Yeah. You'd rather have go back and find something of some great quality, um, rather than you know just get something because they're dishing it out by yeah. the boatloads, right? Yeah, that's a good. Uh, I think that's a good shopping like, too. I, I I really fuck with brands that like like once once this specific item come out and it's just like a limited quantity, mm-hmm. like it's just it. You that's can't it. find it no more. Doesn't um. Supreme do that? Uh, I wouldn't know. I don't really. Do they? I, I think once they do, I mean, from what I've heard, they they like drop something, and then after you after that, you got you can't really buy it. That's probably why the resale so crazy. Yeah, so far. but in a sense though, they also just like keep replicating their designs and stuff like that, but just making a new color. What do you think about um, Tyler the Creator as a fashion designer? Uh, Tyler the Creator was fuck like. Yeah. He, I fuck with him too. He. Like, am I, when it comes to, like, fashion and shit like that, he plays a big part in my shit, too, because it's, like, he goes with so much color. Mm-hmm. He he brings a lot of pop. He's, he's very bold with the shit. Like, he don't care about wearing color and shit like this and that. I fuck with him. Yeah. I fuck with Tyler. You fuck with Tyler? I fuck with yeah, Tyler. I fuck with Tyler. His style's always been a little bit different. Um, me, myself, you know, I've been a Vans kid. Mm-hmm. You know, that's pretty much the only sneaker I wear uh, these days, anyhow. And he's always gave us styles that go with with the vans. So right. I would I like gravitating. I liked his earlier stuff they did with OF with the real with the real bright colors. Mm-hmm. But even um him branching to his uh golf golf uh, you know brand it, it's actually doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I've seen some new some new stuff uh, that they were posting on their Instagram, and it's looking good. I think he's doing a good job with what he's got going on over there. Yeah, he just got a collab with some some type of brand. It's golfing something. That shit looks nice yeah. as fuck. I said I might, if I get a chance to, I might buy like, it's either some suey coke, suey coke sandals or some golf sandals. But I need yeah. some sandals for the summer. You trying to do the sandal wave? You feel me? Like <laughs> Very <yeah>. cozy. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to do the sandals yeah. you, with the socks, yeah, I'm yeah. assuming? I'm fucking throwing some... Some Nike socks and you then dig? call it a day. But shit, I didn't want the toes out. You this want the toes? Out. <laughs> you really simplifying the fucking game if you bringing your fucking Damn, toes look, out. I'm trying to be out here like the uncle on the grill. You feel Man, me? you be in the gym. <laughs> you be in the gym too loud. You're a pretty fucking healthy guy. I know your fucking feet bad, but but we were talking. We were talking earlier and everything. You're a pretty fucking healthy guy. You're in the yeah, gym pretty often. Yeah, you got to because shit. Were you always in that habit of just being, you know, in the gym, or was that something like you know you just picked up along the way? Uh, I want to say like when I was like fourteen, mm-hmm. it just started out just playing basketball and shit like that. But once I start, when I got got a job and shit, it came to where I was just shit. I can't even find no hoops. That's so right. Shit. Let me just, I gotta come to the gym and do you gotta something. Gotta go do something. So yeah. that's when I just started picking up on cardio and shit like that. Right. And actually learning learning about what certain shit do for your body and shit yeah. like that. Because I used to be like two hundred and seventy three pounds, and then I had dropped down to my yeah. Lowest. For those for those who know you for a while, I mean. Dude, you shredded fucking weight, dude. <laughs> Had to, man. Like, dude, motherfuckers were looking like, damn, is mine sick? Yeah, like, what the <laughs> fuck? Then, nah, you look on this fucking uh, live or Instagram or whatever the fuck. 
niggas in the gym, son. Like, yeah, that's I, crazy. I stay in the gym. That's man. a that's a good commitment. That's like good that you really you know getting everything together in your life, yeah, getting too. your health together. Your you know you, you stay <laughs> flee. You know uh, that's that's a that's a great commitment that you made to yourself. Yeah, because with the gym, you get like a great confidence in your body better. Yeah, like you can necessarily be already fit and shit yeah, like that it, without the you gym. definitely feel better when you look good naked. Yeah, that's but, for sure. But when you in the gym and you actually chiseling that shit like yeah. a diamond, you feel like and you going can't crazy. nobody tell you shit. Mm-hmm. Like you can, like what's rejection? You feel me? Facts. So shit, I, I could. I got it's a confidence like, boost for sure. Way like a big ass confidence yeah. boost. Like you feel it, motherfuckers feel it around you and shit like that. You but, for, but for those who don't know you, on like you know on the court, you say you been in the said You a real bucket, man. Look, <laughs> hey, niggas think I'm just a motherfucker fashion. Nigga they don't know like that, man. I really do this hoop and shit. Like I play niggas for that bread. You hear me? Yeah. Like I really. So do it's, like it's, that. it's on the record right now. Monthly <laughs> is taking anybody for the bread. For anybody. If you want to show your five, your five, you your five versus my five, or are we doing one on ones? What's what's to it? Anything you want. See what see. It's tricky with the five though, because it's like you, you gotta, gotta find de- the third you five. De- <laughs> you gotta depend on that. You gotta, you gotta depend, depend on, on that person. I don't like depending on people on my bread on the yeah. line. Well, I guess if everybody in the mindset with they, if if everybody putting their bread up with it, it's different because you know certain know. people when you put up bread, it's like yo, it's my money, G. I'm finna. Yeah, but niggas don't be hooping though. You feel me? Like some niggas, like oh, it's just bread, blah blah blah. But they are like, facts. When you, when you were really a hooper, you really that's a hooper. just like bragging rights, right? Like you don't want nobody. Every time you come to the gym, oh yeah, I took your bread. Yeah, like, no, nah. I can't have that. So yeah, shit. you definitely got your name around the city as one of the uh, one of the better underground hoopers. That's yeah. got to pull up to any session and serve. Yeah, I, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> that is definitely on record. Like, <laughs> like niggas seen me come to the men's league with, with my head dyed green. Like, yeah. what the fuck is this nigga? Like, what the Thinking fuck? Shit going was on? sweet, man. You hear me? Yeah. Man? Speaking of that, man, what made you uh, go with the with the green hair, son? Uh, yeah, you but, shook the fucking game up the, uh, with the green shit. hair. I always wanted to dye my hair since I was. Was like probably 13 like Dennis Rodman really yeah yeah like, yeah step out forward with that shit like mm-hmm. just go ahead be yourself because at the end of the day shit what can somebody say about you the nigga was getting down that's dropping double doubles on motherfuckers in the 90s and, and we shit. always talking about the 90s was the toughest NBA era right so Facts. when a motherfucker doing this to you and he got that that hell what like, the fuck damn, can you say what can you really say so shit I'm like fuck it it's just hell it's just hell so shit, I you just definitely started. popped the winner with that shit and yeah. brought the winner alive. What's your favorite season to get dressed in though? The winter or the summer? Because it's a definitely a different swag for uh, each season. I hate summer weather, honestly. Mm. So fall, winter, that's like the best fits to get. The best fits to get in. Best fits, like especially. Going well, you in. can wear much more. I mean, you gotta layer up anyway, so you can definitely 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 jackets. Cool. Make fucking fit sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Cause when it's, when it's summertime, you sweating a lot, mm-hmm. and that fucks up everything. Man. Fuck up your mood. You fuck your mood up. You, you damn. I wanna go on the crib. <laughs> you did it. Cancel the day and everything. Shit, <laughs> nigga, you be you be hot to the mother. You be hot to the motherfucker. Nigga, wiping your forehead. Bad as fuck. You be trying to make sure you be dabbing your yeah, arm and me, shit. Trying to make sure you don't bleed through your shirt. Man, when you motherfuckers catch fuck me in the summertime, that. you only catch me at night. Fact. My motherfucker skin is down at the peak right now. So if I get darker than this, then I'm down there You're over. Damn near I over. used to be darker than this, but once I start taking care of my skin and shit like that with skin care. I really flourish my shit. Nah, my shit down the peak right now. Let's talk about this hat. Right. This. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out my boy Evan for this for giving me this idea of this hat. Yo, bass fucking pro shops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this bitch smack though. You hear me? Like, yeah. This bitch. Yeah. It's like this trucker hat. It's it's like it was it was when I was getting it. Uh-huh. I'm like, damn. My skin, so I'm thinking about my skin too. So that I'm like, melanin right. shit. You feel me? Like so, I'm like, fuck it. I like this yellow, and I also like how the, the silhouette of the hat is. Uh huh. So I'm like, and how it's set up. You feel me? Yeah. So the green go by itself with the red letters. And you the definitely and trucker like as fuck. You hear me? So I'm like, fuck it. Whoop, got this bitch. I'm like, yeah, I ain't never taking this bitch off. Yeah. Never taking it off. And so I put it on my fenster, right? Uh huh. I got it on my fenster. 
<laughs> Instagram working right now. You will see when I first post yeah, Instagram this, on some bullshit. We're they, supposed to go live on Instagram today. Sorry guys, but Instagram was other shit right oh, now. Oh, they they back up now. Nah. They back up. They back up. They back up. <laughs> they just got it together. But post you up. You see me? Hold on, I'm finna show y'all my shit. <laughs> my flea right now. Blah blah. blah. That's my shit. But we definitely was, gonna get you tagged in. Yeah, we we can get we can worry about that shit later. But you will see on my finster where I had posted my motherfucking hat, like what I'm gonna wear uh-huh. for the whole year. It's these. Bitch, Mac J, like it go with any fit. I might have to have you uh, get us some uh, <laughs> podcast uh, trucker has design. <laughs> Fuck around, why not? Shit, if come, we can. come on with it. Got to. Shit. We'll get that shit done. New, why new, not? new session podcast drip coming. Got to. If you're uh, gonna do it, you gotta do collab it. Collab right. with Montfleet. Gotta do it right. On the way. You gotta do it right, cause shit. Even though if you, if you even if you is my homie, like this the main thing with supporting people. Even if you is my friend, homie, and all that shit like that. Yeah. If the shit weak, I'm not wearing it. Like, I am. <laughs> I'm not supporting it. Well, that's weak. why I gotta have you design it, my nigga. Yeah. And you, <laughs> like, it's Mont Flea like approved a, before this shit like hits a, the streets, son. Like, like, if that shit not hidden, I'm not even, like, I'm not gonna fake it. And yeah. really do none of that shit. If that shit not hidden, I'm not fucking with do it. Do people like, come to you a lot for, like, fashion advice? Yeah. Like, yo, how does this fit look? Do you get that a lot? Yeah, a lot of people hit me up with shit like, Fit ideas and all that, like how can I better my wardrobe and shit like that. Right. And I keep it humble and all that <coughs> shit like that. I tell them this and that, give them some P's and Q's and everything. But yeah, yeah, motherfuckers hit me up and shit. You've like been following that. the league, obviously this year. I know you're a hoop fan. Hell yeah, yeah. You uh, who you who you got in the finals Kawhi right now? Leonard, the best player in the NBA. Fuck is you talking? I about? mean, hey, I've, <laughs> I've I've said this on I think session one that Kawhi's playing at a Jordan-esque level before. Yeah. Before Doc Rivers came out and said this, I've, I've dissected this game pretty tight, and this is Mike level. Yeah, um, this is. <laughs> he's doing some Mike other like, shit. <laughs> you know well, what I'm he, saying? This is the first dude that knocked Le- Miami LeBron off. Mm. Like, yeah. guarded him toe for toe. And he got the finals MVP for that. And got the finals MVP. He the youngest finals MVP. Like, when he was younger than D Rose that year? Yeah. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, he was younger. I didn't know that. Remember? Remember, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was the youngest, the youngest Finals MVP. D- talking about Finals MVP, nigga. D Rose was the MVP. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. Oh, Finals <laughs> MVP. My bad, man. Come on, man. It's the session. Y'all know, hey, don't kill me, bro. Uh, hey, it's cool though. It's but cool. But shit, yeah, Finals MVP. Sorry about that, D Rose. Yeah, you ain't never get to reach that. Shout out, Brian. He go, he might reach it. He ain't. Yeah, Shout I know Brian. you're not, but, but don't, yeah, you're trying to give him hope. Yeah. Shout out but to D Rose. You we did. got a lot of D Rose you know fans I'm watching this. So but you know, it. you know, I went to Morgan Park, so I'm definitely uh, all right. Not with the Simeon yeah, wave, he ain't so with that shit. he ain't with it at all. But on some Chicago shit for what those who don't know, Rose definitely was. Rose nice, got though. it though. He was, you know. Shout out Rose before the injury and shit. Like so that. who who you got, who who you think in the league is coming hardest with the drip? Damn, I want to say it's a lot of motherfuckers. It out is. There. It's, it's definitely a lot of motherfuckers. I can't think of this nigga name, but he nice when it. Is Nick Young even still in the league? I, th- I don't think Nick Young is in the league Nick right Young now. Nah, he wasn't now. picked up. I don't think this year at all. Actually, I don't know. Um, but he hadn't played for the better half if he was. Right. So, uh, who was the dude on the Rockets? We could still. Th- you talking about PJ fucking Tucker? PJ Tucker. He's okay. He's coming hard. He's okay when it comes to certain shit. Like he dressed like a hooper, but he he yeah he put he the makes some shit well, he up. He got a lot of sneakers that can go with it. Yeah, like you say. he those oh, sneakers, dude. That's I know who got it. Who? Russell Westbrook. Fuck is you saying? You, that's you it. giving it to Westbrook? To Westbrook. Yeah. West fucking Brook. Westbrook that is nigga, definitely the drip guy right now in the league. I probably he's would say he's definitely the drip guy. Niggas be niggas be coming hard in the league though. So yeah, like, they niggas do. be trying. Like, but it's just like with Westbrook, he ain't scared to just. Take that motherfucker. Step you know, out there I don't do think, man. Shit. I just hate how LeBron dresses sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like he dresses because he got hella fucking bread, so everything he got on be dumb expensive. <laughs> but if you just like, well, nigga, sometimes, I, sometimes, <laughs> geez, <laughs> Bron is my guy. You know this shit, but sometimes the it, the drip just don't. Drip is hard, you know what I'm saying? It just, it it looked like a million dollars worth of drip. Hey, cool. But when he wear them big ass hats, 
You know the Tyson Chandler joints. You know the 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 You six eight, son. No. And your arms big as fuck. Uh, it's he, not for you. When he had the motherfucker, uh, the blaze over top of the hoodie. That Son. shit took me hot, nigga. When he had the hey, but you know, even though he just retired, who you got to give it to D Wade too. Yeah, D Wade, mm-hmm. nice as fuck. D Wade, so fucking nice. D Wade is nice. D Wade, nice as hell. He was the first one to me to make the little, uh, the jogger sweats look decent. Jogger he was rocking sweats. them one of the first, the joggers. That everyone's wearing now. Yeah, he was wearing it. I remember he was wearing them first, like around the league. I saw that shit. And I was like, damn. Wade, Wade attributed us a lot to the game. Facts. You know, that nigga nice. Wade man. is definitely a, a swag guy in the league too. Yeah, his son nice as fuck too though. You see his son. You see his son. Yeah, they're doing that that collab him and Bron and, and at the same high school with that kid from Chicago, Amari Bailey. I, uh. Sierra, yeah, Sierra Kane. Kane. How you think that's gonna play out though, since they lost a lot of pieces? They got Amari Bailey. I don't know if you've ever heard of I this know kid. Who that is. Yeah, I, I don't. Know yeah, I know is. you know who he is because you're from around but, the same. But, but one piece can't. Amari Bailey is different. He ain't like, he's and he's different. ready. I've seen highlights from this summer. He's different, but he's not Adam different. Adam Miller is different. <laughs> Adam <laughs> Miller is a walking pro. Gatorade Player of the Year for Illinois. He is a walking pro. That exactly. he is different, and he's sliding up the high school basketball like, circuit right now. I like him. Absolutely Martin. lighting it up. I like him, but he has to mature more. Mm. He definitely has to mature more. And I don't, I don't know about Bronny being completely ready to over compete at the next level. Um, you know, to where they're gonna take it too far. But in a few years, and like, well, I think this is our years last year. Actually. Yeah, this is his last. This, this is, is his last year, year, so he's gonna have to come hard. He ranked low as fuck. He, well, I, thought, he, I mean, he got a lot to work on. I don't even on. think he's even ranked. I think, a, I think, I think a little bit of the, of the ranking he probably is at is, at, is from Cloud Two. Uh, I know some killers. But out he's here. actually nice. Though. He's nice. No, look, don't get me wrong. He's nice, mm-hmm. but there are some killers that may have gotten snubbed uh, like. over from Cloud. Uh, I don't know no name specifically, but we could go around the league. We could go. I can go around on the circuit right now and pull up some names and some numbers. And and Zaire's numbers on the circuit is not that that high. Yeah, and, it's, it's and that's what I mean to that. That's what I know. Who Zaire's numbers aren't that high. So at it's all. just it's that's what I mean by that. He's not so like you know, it's it's no. he I mean, he may show up with something. He had a strong uh, Pangos camp. I saw but, like last but, summer. But at the same time, with ranking and shit like that, it's like eh, it's kind of yeah. Because eh, you like, kind of anybody can go from you know cause one to hundred like, and go to yeah, the league. Like Cassius Stanley, I feel like he overrated, but he he can jump. You think Cassius Stanley is overrated? I think he's underrated. You think he underrated? I think he's underrated. Bro, I think you, if you look you at it, pull his, up a game right now where he's snapping I think, but, if, but I think, I think if you look at his game, he has a nice two guard game. His frame is nice. His footwork, he's worked on a he lot. Nineteen. He has a nice pull up. He he's, nineteen. He might be old. He's nineteen. But he also jumps out the gym. One solid year under Coach K. Like when they played against, they played against Montverde. Okay. Pull it up. No my show. Bird. He didn't do anything? <laughs> Pull it up. They got dubbed. Oh, Pull my. Pull the fuck up. <laughs> he's not like, he's not nothing special. Like, Amari way better than Cassius. It's just Cassius can fucking. Amari's a beast, though. He's a fucking dog. Like, he's ahead of his time, you know. He's a fucking dog. Damn. He did nothing against Montverde? Nothing. Was it that hoop Paul? I think so. It was on live fucking TV. Yeah, see, they got dubbed. I didn't think he was gonna fucking even get to Duke. I mean, I don't. It was kind of late shit. commit he, too. He's not doing shit at Duke. I don't think. Like, he I would have figured he would have went to like UCLA, where he'd like at least be able to shoot the fucking ball. UCLA is so hype though. That shit is so hype. Like the Rico Hines sessions, so nice though. Have you seen those? I've sessions? seen the sessions, Some the Rico sessions Hines so session. So fucking nice, like. Shit. But the Black Ops sessions be a little bit. I think be a little bit more lit. What Black Ops sessions? The ones in New York at Lifetime Fitness. They not fuck with Rico Hines. Bro, Brian pulled up in Versace shorts. That's fine. And they, fucked the whole gym up. That's fine. With but, Ben Simmons. But did you see that Westbrook session? He came in with all the rookies. I saw that. 
Westbrook was in that nice nigga. That's what I get the fucking Rico Hound Raptors from. Yeah. They ain't going. You see Patrick Siakam was in that bitch hooping. All yeah. of us was in that hooping. Yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, Rico Hines definitely has some nice sessions. I'm not taking shit yeah, away Rico from Yeah, Rico Hines nice. Like, I like, I like that. I, I like, like that wave, session. yeah. Remember that fucking lockout year? <laughs> Best fucking summer. That was the for, year for who we found fan. out LeBron couldn't guard KD. That's also we, the year we found out nobody could also guard LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> I the nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? Pulled up to everybody hood, nigga. Was he, that the year? Hold on. He pulled up to the Drew League, nigga, and we <laughs> found out nobody in the world could guard Bron. Even in that big ass All Star game, they went at it. You know, <laughs> don't don't t- don't try to act like I Bron love, ain't show I up love, in that I love game. Bron. I love Bron. Come I on, do. man. Bron I pulled do. up to everybody hood and he cooked did. too. He did. But, but KD definitely had sixty six at the Rucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, that nigga, he dropped sixty six on Michael Beasley. Well, you know, Brian couldn't play at the Rucker because he used to, he had that one uh, incident where Jay Z and Fat Joe was supposed to have a Rucker game, and it was said that LeBron was on the truck that they ne- that they never let LeBron off the truck to play, and ended up canceling the game because it was so many fucking people. You got to look that shit up. That's a real fucking thing. Never heard of Jay Z. Walked into the gym one day at a Rucker Park game with Brian right next to him, right before he fucking signed, right he, as he was going into the NBA draft. Mm-hmm. Fat Joe and Jay was supposed to have this fucking. Uh, you gotta look this shit up. There's yeah, like specials on up. Netflix, bro. There's like a whole special on this shit. It's on Netflix, bro. It, it was at a point in time. I have to fucking find that shit up. Right. Mm. But they were supposed to have a fucking Rucker Park game, bro. They were said to be Shaq on the truck. With Brian, like they said, Jay pulled out some fucking stars, but nobody knew because the tr- no one ever got off the truck because no. they never in- they ended up like canceling the game. <laughs> Bro, the shit is fucking crazy. I could believe that though. Cause it's they, real shit. Cause it's like. Jay Z and LeBron fuck with each other heavy. Yeah, it's real shit, bro. It was a, it was a, it was some real shit. Um, <laughs> I swear to fucking God. Look, 15 years ago today, Jay Z and Fat Joe stacked their teams for the greatest street ball game never played. I Damn. swear to God, this is some real shit, bro. And that's like in tw- in 2002. Here it is, a fucking Harlem DVD, Harlem Hoops DVD. It was real shit. Now it's like fucking Fat Joe can't bring nobody. <laughs> yeah, he got the friends. <laughs> you don't even want to fuck with with with, yeah, with Jay's team. It's like Fuck out of here. He's going to give everybody a million bread, just to play man. one game. Exactly. Fat Joe. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Joe going to get some. He going to get the the Jelly fam because they from New York. That's who he going to be able to get. <laughs> Speaking of them, what school do they go to now? Fucking uh, the kid, uh, Keneally, the, J- J- the Jelly fam, JQ, he just transferred to Alabama to play for uh, where where Colin Sexton went to play for the Which one you said he just went there? Uh, J- Jelly Fam JQ, the light skin one that went to Villanova. Uh, Javon. Javon Connerly. Okay. I actually saw him play. I was there um, at DePaul watching him play, uh-huh. and he wasn't on shit. He's not like that. He's not like that on the next level. I don't know if it was being held back, this little confidence, but against DePaul, I mean, DePaul had a solid year, better yeah, than what they've had in years, man. but this kid, fucking God, I'm like, man, all that jelly shit, fuck out of here. <laughs> Yeah, that shit ain't flying. Fuck out of here. That shit ain't flying. Like when Isaiah hit his first game, motherfuckers weren't going for that shit. Niggas was not going. Ain't none of that late shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> just, just, like, just thinking, yeah, but that jelly shit ain't no shit, gang. Yeah, it's fuck It's decent, that though. That's a nice fucking layup package. Like, have you ever, like, you seen that shit in person, like, in a real game? In a, yeah, when, my, yeah, when motherfuckers fake. real life jelly. Yeah. I just got fake with that shit. Nigga, I've been, I've seen, I've been close to him, Adam Miller. He probably has the nastiest jelly game, and on the high school level, probably even on the college level. I know he's gonna bring it to the table on the college level. His jelly is natural. You know, in college, he might. What's his choices? He going? Is that I nigga's don't know. I mean, that I'm pretty sure nice. everybody fucking gonna want him at the end of the summer. It's gonna of open course. up big time. He's snapping. I know he. I know he. Uh, he recently posted. it. Today that he had a Louisville visit Friday. Right. So I don't know how hard they're in the running, but hey, hey, it's Louisville, goddamn it.